bum, bum, da 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 bum, bum, da. We're at the Mermaid's Digest. Uh, we are in the middle of the borough, in front of Williams and Sonoma. Love that place. Um, today we have something fun planned with some special guests who may or may not enter this scene. Yep, as I look, there's literally no one we know walking towards us. But we are doing a little Barnes and Noble game with some special guests mm -hmm. who we will introduce. Reveal. Yes. In a little bit. So stay tuned. Yeah. Um, but the name of the game is we're, we are each going to be on opposite teams. We're going to partner up with our special guest and we are going to buy books for the person on the other team. So I will be buying for the special guest. Vice Monique versa. will be buying for the other special guest yep. and vice versa. And here's one of the special guests. Dad. You're in the video. You're no, you're here. supposed to. <laughs> Special guest number one. Dad, you're so tall. Wow, this really has never solidified the fact that I am 5'5". Five five. Monique used to tell people she was taller without than me. Without puppy hair. Without. This, this is my 5'7 look. We need to get in. That's a change. Still short. 5'8". Here. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna be doing some book shopping with. Oh, Momo, she's cheating though. She's got like an inch and a half heels on. With my dad, who's gonna expose me. <laughs> and also my mom. So, anyway, we'll see you guys in a little. Dad. Dad, throw up the peace sign. Okay. Okay. I can help you pick one for mom. Okay. No, I'm picking for Monique. I mean Monique, yeah, you're right. Okay. Where do you want to start? Do you know where to start? I'll give you a hint. Mystery. Okay, let's go to the mystery. This is the team. I'm buying for Mr. Severo. And she's buying for Christine. We don't actually have the plan. This is the two Capricorns. Alright, together we will succeed. And that is all I have to say. Let's go. There we go. <laughs> What's speaking to you, Dad? What's speaking to you? Well, I would think that Monique would want something more geared towards uh, mystery-wise, like maybe a murder or something. Murder, that's something a great that one. Thought. I think what we should do is try to find a fairly well-established author that's popular and buy something from them. And I see Stephen King there. Okay, okay. okay. Let's so. think outside of the box. Okay of Stephen King. So, so you read this whole row? This whole row, yeah. We own all of these books. I need this book, right? The Woman of Tool might be good. Isn't that a true story? Ooh, that might be the choice. Night Fighter, Radar Intercept Killer, about the Black, Black Mac Magruder, U.S. Marine Corps. That's my first choice. I'm going to look for like one more second to be sure, but seems pretty good. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what they pick for you. Okay, my, so. My military, my military section is usually very specific, and it is U-boats. U-boats, which, which are first person accounts of warfare. World War II. World War II, but it's the first person accounts of combat. I could have picked like you out I of a book. There and this is what happened. Okay, well, what I was gonna say is now we're gonna pick a book for mom, and that's gonna be on me. Where am I gonna go? The new fiction. I changed my mind. I'm gonna get the paratrooper generals. It's about two generals going through D Day or something. <laughs> it's <laughs> something like that. It's action packed, they said. Like a, a biography or a memoir. 
a historical account of real life things. Dad, here's our section. Here, here is where me and Monique are online. what dad what were you gonna say well i mean it says made into a major motion picture which means it sold a lot of books and it's an international best-selling thriller all of that could be fluff it could be it could also be mean that it's good okay okay so we're rethinking here i love it i love the game we got it downstairs but i'll put it away all right Ooh, look at that mythos book over there hello okay so we found the fiction section and it is by the Starbucks. So if I get a Starbucks, um, you know, sue me. I'm human. I think you know what she likes. That would be better. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. Not taking not, a chance. You can, yes, you can play it On safe. something that you could play it safe may no... work. I think I know what I'm going to get. Hmm. Okay. Wow, that was insightful. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with Malibu Rising because I have read this book and I really loved it. And it is exactly what my mom likes. It's a fiction book. It centers around family, drama, and it also has a little bit of history in there. Plus, it's set in LA and I think she's really going to like it. I think... I think Taylor Jenkins Reid is the way to go. So we're gonna take a chance. Hopefully she likes it. Oh, and it has a beach in it, which is one of my mom's oh. favorite settings. Right, Dad? Everything's tied in. Yes, it all comes together. So I think, I think Malibu Rising is gonna be it. it. Okay, okay, here we go. Well, this is such a large bookstore. Perhaps I should go check somebody at a kiosk and say, do you have any Yuba books? I'm sure you would find a lot. This is a three-story Barnes & Noble. So this is horrible lighting. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we're gonna go meet them in Starbucks and talk about the books that we picked out. So here we go. Do you have this already? I do not. Perfect. <laughs> this is the Paratrooper Generals. It follows Matthew Ridgway and Maxwell Taylor in their airborne D-Day adventures. That's very good because Ridgway was also prominent in Korea. He's the guy that ran around with the two grenades, like hanging off like that. This will be your choice. That would be great. Okay, great. Love that. I bought this for myself. Well, I will be buying this for myself. It is called Kingdom of Characters. And it is about how the language changed in China. I'm just going to wind up on the editing floor. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go with for Monique's sure. choice? Sure. This dog is barking. The bullet trim. International. Made into a movie. What? You will like it very much. How did you know? Fast, deadly, and loads of fun. NPR's fresh air because you're allowed to use your partner's knowledge. Okay, this was well. I was expecting something else. You know, like a James Patterson. <laughs> Probably what you would have gotten if I just went cold. Okay. Cold turkey. He was really going for that one John Grisham, and I was like, Dad, <clears throat> what if we went to the mystery aisle? <laughs> What if? I would have had it, you know? I we would have. She probably would have liked it. I love I that. That was very good. So. <laughs> Glad. I really wanted to read that. There we go. I got Mom Malibu Rising. Ah. Oh. Have you read this? I don't think so. I don't think so. It is set in real life, and I think Mom is really going to like it because the writing is chef's kiss. Right, Mom? Nice. Yeah. Couldn't care less. She's preparing for her speech. The, the teacher over here. Christy saw that was remarkable. So, I got the you to speak up. You can do it. So, I get the woman of Troy. You can get the So, speak I up. Don't get closer. So, <laughs> she got the woman of Troy. The woman of Troy because Christy saw the Troy movie. Oh, 20 years ago, and loved it. What was his name? The good-looking fellow. Achilles. No. Hector. Hector. <laughs> this dog <laughs> is excited. Troy has fallen, and Victoria's freaks are eager to return home with the spoils of unless. <laughs> Troy has fallen. <laughs> anyway, also knows about Troy, and I think she will like it. 
I think I will like it too because I saw it downstairs and I said, I think I'm gonna pick up this book. That's so great. I think we did a great job. Wanna know how we got there? How did we get there? We walked up to the book talk section. Yeah. Oh my God, we walked up to the book talk section too. I was too. like, what about LK? And mom said no. No, she was like, why do y'all wanna be in college? Like, she said, you're not young anymore. <laughs> And then I was like, well, we have, we own this whole entire row. This is all it footage. You could cut this entire conversation. This and footage that's... is chaotic, but you know. Hey, he... All of us are going to read our books mm -hmm. and we'll see if we're into them. Um, I should be. I think yours is dead on. Yeah, great job. We'll keep you guys posted. <laughs> we so will keep you posted. I am going to be reading this book right here. This is a Greek mythology retelling from the woman's pov i don't know anything about this book but the good news is that i posted about this on our instagram and a lot of people have said that they've read the other book that she wrote the silence of the girls i haven't read that one either but a lot of people said that one was really good so i'm really just attracted to this cover like this is my aesthetic these kind of like purples and that gold color like you guys are killing it so i'm excited that's the check-in for this book I'm assuming I'm gonna love this because I, I like Greek mythology. Even if it's terrible, I usually still like it. Just the name of the game, baby. Name of the game. Don't hate the don't hate the game. Hate the player. Nope. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. Alright, so I'm gonna go because I'm gonna be late if I don't go. Um, but I'll see you guys in a little. Hello, I am finally starting the bullet train. I'm jumping into it kind of straight in. I saw the trailer for the movie. So I'm guessing there's just a bunch of assassins trying to get some, some type of package. Yes. Five assassins on a fast moving bullet train find out their missions have something in common. So I'm about to hop into it and I'll let you guys know how I feel. Oh, and this is what it looks like. It's by Kotaro Isaka. Goodbye. Big loser. Guess who found her tripod? <laughs> This girl, we're doing a 50% check-in for this book. Yeah, what is this book? Women of Troy. Okay, I think when I checked in, I said that this was like, I don't even know what I said. What did I say? The women's POV. Let's roll the tape back. Greek mythology retelling from the woman's POV, I guess. Okay, so it's kind of like that but not really so basically this is actually the second book that pat barker has written about the trojan war and this is taking place after achilles has died so like before the greeks have gone back like before odysseus has gone on his whole journey of the odyssey like before all that it's like basically what's happening before they leave it's from the pov of achilles son who has like entered the battle a priest that is that used to be a trojan priest but then like switched sides and is now like working for the greeks and then these like women of troy um and there are different women that are kind of centering around this story but the main woman is Briseis, i think Briseis. so she is actually the wife of another one of like the greek like leaders it was like achilles friend because she used to be with achilles and is carrying his baby so obviously the drama has ensued but Achilles was murdered so before he like went off to like go have his final battle he was like hey friend can you marry this woman that's carrying my baby and like take care of her so that's the other POV in this and to kind of like get into it this book is really for people who like Greek mythology Greek not even mythology like Greek history really because this is about the Trojan War so like if that's your thing then this is gonna be the book for you. It's like an inside scoop as to what's happening in these times because I feel like a lot of stories roll over this time period where the Trojan War has ended, but the Odyssey hasn't started, right? So like there's this like time period where, you know, the Trojans have been defeated, the Greeks are reveling in their win and they're pretty much causing chaos. They have like ransacked 
Troy. They have desecrated temples, they've raped women, you know, they're basically like enjoying the spoils of a war. And so this is kind of an inside scoop of what's happening during this time. This is definitely like a very contained story. I feel like a lot of times when you're reading about Greek history, there's like a widespread view of what's going on, right? A bird's eye view of what's going on. And it doesn't go into like much detail of like the characters or like the other people involved besides the big headed like main names like Achilles, Odysseus, Hector, Paris, freaking Hector's wife. I can never say her name. Andromach? Andromach? Obviously Helen of Troy. We all know, you know, the, the face that made a thousand ships go across the sea to come get her. I think this is really interesting because these characters that are being talked about, I've never really read a lot of literature in their POV. So I'm having a good time. That's what this check-in is all about. I know you guys are like, what's the point of this? Really, this book would be for people who know some things about the Trojan War and like kind of keep up with it a little bit. I think this is such a good companion novel to um, Pandora's Jar, which I read recently for one of our NetGalley vlogs. And I'll link that up in the cards if you guys want to check that out. But that one is great because it basically takes into account all of the women's POVs throughout Greek mythology and Greek history and kind of like talks about their experience because like I said in this video a lot of Greek mythology and like Greek history is obviously written by men, recounted by men, you know told by men so it was really nice to kind of have like a woman's perspective from like Natalie Hayes that's the author and the women mentioned in that book are also mentioned in here so it's like if you've read that book then you can recognize some of the women and like what's happening here but it goes into different stories so it's like it's basically like if you read that book the names are mentioned in here so it's like a companion piece so you know like who they're talking about when they say oh Agamemnon's wife she's really mad at him because uh he like raped all these women and like brought all these women home and there's a prophecy that he's going to be killed by her because it actually goes into that storyline in Pandora's jar. Anyway, that was a long rant, but really this is for my Greek like people, like my Greek readers, my Greek lovers, anyone who really like wants to get like an inside scoop of the Trojan War. So that's the check-in. It's 50%. We're having a good time. We're having a good time. It definitely is just like if you're reading any kind of, not like epic poem because it's not like epic, but like it definitely is more of a story than it is like dialogue or anything like that. So if you're not interested in that kind of writing that has like the internal like character struggles and like the setting and history like that kind of thing then I would say this probably is not the book for you but yeah that's my check-in okay I'm gonna see y'all later all right like so I'm doing some chores as you can tell well, let's see. the book is on audio right now um so I will be tuning in later with some more thoughts he just turns back to his book. um hello um I'm currently halfway through the bullet train book and i'm really enjoying it i'm trying to see how it all is going to connect like i'm enjoying seeing how they're connecting right now the way the chapters are built a lot of the storylines are starting to kind of blend in and i'm like really enjoying it um i didn't know going in i was going to be dual pov well, i guess multiple pov excuse me but like we're getting the perspective of all the assassins or the characters everyone is quirky my favorite right now are the fruit the fruit duo, Tangerine and Lemon. They're just so insane. Uh, and I'm enjoying reading their points of view. One of them is obsessed with Thomas and Friends. The trains. Like, Thomas the trains. And it's just so funny because he brings it up every time. And everyone's just like, what? Like, what are you talking about? We haven't talked about that since we were seven years old, maybe? So it's just very funny. I'm going to knock out the rest of it probably today or tomorrow. And we'll see where we're at. Okay, my beautiful party people, I've officially finished The Women of Troy. Okay, so let me just go ahead and say ended up being a 4.5 stars for me. But I do think there's a very specific person that would like this book. And that person is someone who enjoys Greek mythology, specifically centering around the Trojan War, the Battle of Troy, someone who kind of wants like an inside scoop of that epic story. This is more of a tale of what happens in between these like huge points of history. And it references the more well-known things in this 
particular time period but it definitely goes deeper into like the characters and the actual people that were around during this time. Very good book, very interesting. Like I said, I think it would pair well with Pandora's Jar if you guys have ever heard of that book by Natalie Hayes. Like I also said earlier, this is the second book in this kind of like series and I do believe like the way that this ended, this will continue to follow Briseis, maybe even like some other stories of women in these trips. It was really interesting to see this and kind of get that perspective of the different women during the Trojan War. So anyway, that's who I would recommend this book for. I had a really good time. My mom chose well because I do love Greek mythology. I love history. And I just thought this was such an interesting way to kind of present these stories in a way that was like very, like I said, interesting, very engaging. Um, and like it makes you actually want to like know about it, you know, because I feel like a lot of times when you read the epic tales, they can get just so boring because it's a lot. It's a lot. And it's all kind of like very like bird's eye view sometimes. So I thought this was a very good way of kind of honing in on this very specific part piece of the Trojan War and like what is happening in the daily life of that time. I do want to go and read the book before this which would be more centered around Achilles and kind of like when Achilles dies. I think that would be very interesting to read but I will say that like when the next book comes out it's gonna be a good time. I think there could be like many many of these books because basically it just follows Greek mythology and like the women throughout. So yeah but I will be reading The Silence of the Girls. I don't know when I'm gonna get to it. I really did like this book. So good job mom. You picked well and that's good because that's my mom. So that is The Woman of Troy and so let's get into the next clip. All right so that concludes me reading Bullet Train. I finished it. I finished it and I want to say thank you. Christine's dad for picking out a very good thriller. Um, it was definitely action-packed. Like this is the kind of book that I like. Like these are the type of movies that I like so I usually like to read these type of books. I didn't read it as fast as I thought it was but that's okay. Everything's fine. But yeah my theory was right. The characters were fun. I think I really enjoyed like the close setting. It was hard to follow. Like it was hard to figure out what chapter I was on when I was reading the book because it's not really like chapter numbers it was more like how the book is formatted it was more like where you are in the train it was like weird to see what progress but it also helps to make sense like where all the action is taking place like where all the characters are going to be at when you're at a certain part of the train so that was interesting but it was like in the beginning I was like so what chapter is this do I call this 77 you know or 78 but bullet train great book this was fun I had a fun time no complaints really. I'm really excited to see the movie y'all because you guys don't understand how much I love Brad Pitt. It is a problem. Like it's really a problem. I don't know what the age difference is between me and Brad Pitt. He's like in his 60s right? Late 50s? Don't matter to me. I love him. I really love that man. So um <laughs> I will be it, probably not the front row because that's not fun but I will be seeing bullet train in theaters when it comes out this summer and so just be following us on social if you want to see my you know thoughts because you know I will probably lose my mind after it on Instagram stories. I have nothing else to add to this. This was a fun experiment. Well done. Well done. I say pick it up. I say pick up bullet train from the library or wherever if you can get a, your hands on the copy. All right until next time. Bye. Like, What are we gonna call this Monique? Uh, people born in January can pick great books. That's awkward. -o. That's very awkward. -o. <laughs> Did you like your book? It's so funny that literally all of y'all are born in January. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I the one? Yeah, I loved my book. I loved my book. It was very good. So that's it. That's, 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 that's it. What can we, what have we learned? Besides people born in January <laughs> can pick great books. My mom, when I pick a book for her, it's hit or miss. That's what I would say. It's hit or miss. Or, you know, just listen to what people suggest. You know, it was a team effort on my team. And your dad took your advice. And look how great we went. You know, That's honestly, true. I might have even ended up liking that James Patterson. So you probably would. We'll never actually know. But our team did great. Are we competing? I mean, you know, everything is a competition in life, but it shouldn't be that way. Let me bring back to the good advice is to just take advice from your peers. They actually aren't my peers.
<laughs> Again, so the really the title of this of this the plot of this movie Parents is, Challenge is that January, you know, we have a lot of wisdom seeping through that month, whether it be Capricorns, whether it be Aquarius, you know. Wisdom really resonates with us because we lead the way for the whole group. I should have had you pick a book for me because this is some bullshit. And on that note, we had a crazy kooky time. Thanks for joining us. The, the footage is chaotic. Like as I was editing it, I'm like, we need some captions on here. Also like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell if you want to see more videos from us and give us some motivation to create some content because right now we're struggle busing. So it's me, I'm going to read, I promise. We're reading. It's just these vlogs that we're reading for Are for have heavy, so many books. Heavy material. But we're getting it out there. <laughs> All right, we're going to go for real, for real. See you guys later. See you. Bye. Bye.